Welcome back to the Retailer Education and Awareness Program. In this video, we'll discuss human trafficking, which is the use of force, fraud, or coercion to lure victims and force them into labor or commercial sexual exploitation. This can occur in every state, including Texas. There are two main categories for human trafficking, labor trafficking and sex trafficking. Labor trafficking applies to adults and children who are used for forced labor. This is usually associated with agriculture, food service, factory work, or sales. But it is important to note that a person can be trafficked into any industry or type of work. Sex trafficking is what individuals typically think about when they hear the words human trafficking. It can include both adults and children and is associated with strip clubs, brothels, massage parlors, and street or internet prostitution. Human traffickers use coercion against victims through violence, psychological abuse, taking away their free will or free movement, or economic exploitation. Combating human trafficking is a top public safety priority for TABC. As a law enforcement agency and regulatory authority, TABC has a unique opportunity to gain access to any business that holds a TABC license or permit which includes bars and restaurants, hospitality spaces like hotels and motels that sell alcohol, and sexually oriented businesses. Awareness is key for combating human trafficking in Texas. That's why it's important to know the possible signs of a trafficking victim. These include people who are not allowed to speak for themselves and who have no control over their money or identification, like passports and social security numbers. They might be transported to and from work, live and work in the same place, or work excessive or unusual hours. You can also look for people who are not allowed to take breaks, people who seem afraid, depressed, or overly submissive, and those who show signs of physical abuse, including bruises and branding. In identifying human trafficking, awareness of the surroundings are just as important as looking at the person. Some signs that may indicate a location is being used for human trafficking include high security, locked doors, log books with names and check marks in them, contraceptives, lubricants, and napkins, condom wrappers in the trash, beds, cots, and makeshift rooms, and verbal references to, quote, being in the game or in the life or references to the stable. In the case of suspected human trafficking, there are several ways to report it. You can call 911 if you believe someone is in immediate danger. File an anonymous report through TABC's Alcohol Industry Management System, or AIMS. Report suspicious activity to iWatch at iWatchTX.org or around the clock by phone at 844-643-2251. And of course, you can report trafficking 24-7 to the National Human Trafficking Resource Center at 888-373-7888 or text 233-733. That concludes our presentation. Your role is important in stopping human trafficking. And as always, thank you for watching.